Hello grade 9 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I will be making series of videos uh, regarding quadratic functions and their graphs. So basically, I will be starting with graphing f of x equals to x squared. So this function is not linear or kapag nag-graph natin itong f of x equals to x squared, hindi tayo makakabuo ng straight line because the highest exponent is 2. Okay, so for us to be able to graph f of x equals to x squared, we will be assigning values for x and then for us to get the values of y. So we will be uh, using the table of values. So we have here values of x. So let me say we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So, these are our values for x. And then, we need to find the f of x or the values of y for us to have ordered pairs that we are going to plot the points in our Cartesian plane. Okay? And then, so, we just substitute. So, basically, ang gagawin lang natin is negative 2 squared. That is x squared. So, we're in if x is negative 2, the values of f of x or y is negative 2 squared is positive 4. So, we have negative 2, 4 for our first order pair. So, same with the other values of x. So, you have negative 1 squared, you have positive 1. And then, if you have 0 squared, you have 0. And then, if you have 1 squared, you have 1. And then, if you have 2 squared, you have 4. And then, notice the values that we obtained. And then, so what have you observed? So, meron siyang symmetrical, right? So, there is something symmetric with the value. So, we have here 0, 0 as our center, right? And then you have here 1, and then you have here 4. So, let us plot each point in the Cartesian plane. So, you have here negative 2, 4. So, you have here negative 2, and then positive 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is for our first ordered pair. So, lagyan natin negative 2, 4. And then, you have here negative 1, 1. So, you have here negative 1 and then positive 1. So, you have here negative 1 and positive 1. And then, you have here 0, 0. So, that is our origin. And then, you have here 1, 1 on the first quadrant because both x and y is positive. And then, you have here 2, 4. So, you have here 2, then you have here 4. So you have here 2, 4. And then we need to connect those points to show the graph of f of x equals to x squared. And then, lagyan natin siya ng arrowhead. So, we need to say that it can be extended. Again, please bear with my uh, illustration. That's not perfect, but it shows the graph of f of x equals to x squared. So, this U-shape curve is called parabola. Again, the graph is called a parabola. So, the graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. And then, the turning point of the graph. So, nasa yung kanyang pinaka-turning point? So, ito yung kanyang pinaka-turning point. So, which is 0, 0. That is what we call the vertex. Ayan. In the figure given, the vertex is 0, 0. It is the lowest point on the graph. Again, when we say vertex, that is the turning point and the lowest point on the graph. 
So we can say that a parabola is symmetric with respect to a line that goes through the center of the parabola and the vertex. So this line is called the parabola's axis of symmetry. Ayan. So in the graph given, the axis of symmetry is the y axis. So ito yung ating axis of we have here the axis of symmetry. So we can say that the graph is symmetric, right? So bakit naging symmetric yung ating graph? So when you say symmetric, the graph is a mirror image of itself along the y-axis. So ito, so, this graph ay katulad. And then, mapapansin nyo naman yan na magkatapat yung kanyang mga points. No? Na iba lang yung ating sign. So, you have here negative 1 and 1 and 1, 1. You have negative 2, 4 and 2, 4. So, that's the graph of f of x equals to x squared. So, I hope that you learned something about this video and see you on our next video lesson that is a continuation of graphing a quadratic function.